Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about a nice little uh, desktop background wallpaper tool called John's Background Switcher, or JBS for short. So it's a free download, they have it for Windows and for Mac. So once you download and install it, you just simply run it. I already have it running here. So then what you could do is you could pick your locations for your files. So I have it set up to use a Hawaii folder in my pictures and then also to attach to my Google Photos using an album called Vacation, which I have right here. You know, I have multiple albums, and but you could pick which ones you want to use. And then when you come here, you have some add options, so you could also do other, you know, Flickr and Pexels and Dropbox and OneDrive and all that other good stuff. You just need to attach your account when you do it the first time. So when I attached my Google Photos, uh, it made me log into Google, and then it gave me a code that I had to paste into uh, JBS here to get it to work. So it'll probably vary depending on what type of uh, outside service you're going to use. And so you have your basic options here, you know, change every hour, the picture modes, uh, you know, the default is scale and full screen, but you could do all kinds of collages and random stuff like that. But if you click on more, you have tons of options here, you know, start with windows, uh, show picture information at the top right, uh, some advanced options, the montage options for all your uh, collages and stuff, picture handling. You know, you'd have to, I'm not going to go through all these, obviously, but you could kind of scroll through them and see if there's anything you want to change. Uh, picture sources, no draw zones, switching. You know, if you have a program running, uh, don't switch the background. What pictures you don't want to ever be shown out of your uh, selected options there. You know, web connection, if you're, I'm sure you're not using a proxy, but auto detect should be fine. Then you could import and export your settings, just like that. And then you also have it running down here. So you could right click on it. Actually, you gotta click OK here first. And now you could right click on it. And you could go to the next background, clear the background to turn it off, save the picture, view the current picture. So if we do this, that'll open up the picture from the location there. Pause it, send to email recipients, get to the settings here, check for updates. Uh, next background like that. So let's check out the collage one real quick here. So go back to the settings. So let's change this to, let's try this Polaroid pile here actually. Click OK. So you'll have to go to the next picture to get it to uh, activate here or wait for an hour or whatever time you have it set to. So that's kind of cool. Let's go back to the settings. Let's check out the collage. Just like that. And then if we go to the next one, let's see what happens here. So it just gives you a different collage. And then if you have multiple monitors, you could have a different picture on each monitor. Uh, the postcard, you know, pretty simple. And then here's where you change it, of course, the options, how often it changes. Then if you don't wanna, you know, if you have, once you have stuff here, you, Let's say I don't want to use these. You could just uncheck it, and then I'll only use these. And then, of course, you could highlight it and delete it and so on. All right, so I'll put a link in the description. You just download it, install it, and run it. Check out the options, and then pick your, uh, lo your source locations for your photos, and then you'll be able to do some uh, super custom desktop uh, backgrounds. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. <laughs>